Hello guys, uh, in this video I want to talk about um, like the risky topology. So let me just define the basic objects and uh, we will just discover some new uh, and cool things. So first, as a first step, uh, let's take some uh, field. So the K is an algebraic closed field. Why do we need algebraic closure? Right now basically we, we can take K to be any field. Uh, but algebraic closure is really important like for some uh, results for example like uh, Hilbert uh, how it's called like null instance theorem uh, I'm sorry I still cannot pronounce it correctly and I don't even know how to pronounce it correctly yeah so K is an algebraic closed uh, field then when we have an algebraic closed field so we can take some elements like let's say like element A which belongs to K but at the same time, we can take like n tuples of elements. So if we're going to take n tuples of elements, I'm going to define an affine space. So I'm saying that this is like n is going to be an affine space if it's just a set of n tuples of elements from my field. So in this case, I will get uh, it's a set of a1, an, where ai belongs to k so you can see like basically um if i can take k as a field uh, which is like real numbers or complex numbers uh, then you might ask why i'm not writing in the case when k is equal to r uh, this set n as uh, r to the n and when k is equal to c this set is c to the n and the idea is um we study affine spaces and uh, the corresponding like the risk topology in different uh, in algebraic geometry so uh, for the case if we're going to write our like um, underlying set as rncn we assume that we have a standard topology so what do i mean like uh, by standard topology i just mean if i'm going to take for example um r2 in this case then uh, example of open sets is like pretty familiar so for example i can take as an open set which is going to be an open ball and the closed set for example i can take um the closed ball which is centered at zero so this is closed and this is open so the whole idea why do you want to write z set to the n is i want to consider another topology which is called like the risk topology so what is this idea of the risk topology? Uh, first, uh, you can check my previous video when I define what the topology is. But the risky topology are defined using uh, closed sets. And we define how and then how we define the closed set. We define the closed set as to be like the vanishing uh, set of some polynomial. I'm going to talk about that later. So closed sets, which are vanishing set of some polynomial, or like polynomials. So uh, let me give you an example, and in this example, I'm going to compare two topologies. So let's take my k is equal to c, and then what do you want to do? I want to compare um, my affine space A topology with topology given just by c with standard topology. So the idea is the following: if I'm going to take some polynomial with uh, complex coefficients. And then I define the closed set to be as a vanishing set of my polynomial. And here, uh, this is exactly the, uh, like the right time for us to use algebraic closed. So in that case means that if uh, f uh, has complex coefficients, then my f is going to be split as a product of um, linear parts. And let's just, uh, for simplicity, I don't know, like, let's take um, my polynomial is actually going to be splitting polynomial, so it's going to be just split as a product of uh, n numbers. Sorry, n factors, ax uh, minus ai, where ai in this case it belongs to complex plane. And then, in this case, you can see that uh, one of the examples of the closed set is going to be that uh, a bunch of points because I'm saying that my set is going to be closed if it's a vanished of some polynomial. 
and this polynomial is going to vanish exactly at endpoints. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically indicate this endpoints on my uh, plane. So you can see every time I'm going to take some polynomial, then the corresponding closed set, uh, the closed set which corresponds to the vanishing set of the polynomial is going to be just a number, the finite number of uh, like distinct points in our plane. And the same way, this is going to be a closed set for my standard topology. So I can see in that case that every closed set in the risky topology is actually also going to be closed set in standard topology. But can we go another direction? Let's take, for example, a closed ball with radius 1 in standard topology. And this set I can see is going to be closed in standard topology. But if this set is going to be closed in the risk topology? And the answer is no. Because what does it mean like that uh, this ball is going to be closed in the risk topology? It means that my function f of x is going to have count countably many vanishing points. But we know that for any polynomial um, with complex coefficients, we can have only finally number of roots. So this uh, so the opposite direction doesn't go. So you can see that not every closed set, as we think in standard topology, is going to be a closed set in our uh, the risk topology. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, so in this like short video, I just decided I don't know like to talk about. Um, a fine space in the risk topology and I'm going to continue my um, and I will mention uh, other topics which are related to this one and I'm going to expand these topics in my future videos. Okay guys thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed. If you enjoy this video or just if you have any questions please let me know and goodbye.